London Borough of Bromley. Camden Place Chislehurst was the sanctuary for the exiled Emperor and Empress of France after the Franco-Prussian Wars. One reason why Bromley is regarded as being in the country is because of its wealth of common land and preserved open spaces, such as here at Chislehurst. The borough has actually over a thousand acres of natural conserved woodland within its boundaries, some of it untouched for over 400 years. What are the attractions to modern-day settlers in the area? Good shopping at several key locations. Plentiful transport to and from London for the commuter.
good and plentiful housing. Usually within walking distance of pleasant greenery. A good educational system. And on Pluto, how do you think, if you were standing on Pluto, how do you think our view of the sun would look there? One of the lowest domestic rates in Greater London. All these things have not happened by accident. Since 1965, when the present London Borough of Bromley came into being, the environment and prosperity of the borough has been the responsibility of the council and its officers. Sixty elected members seen here in debate at one of the regular council meetings make decisions which have an impact upon the lives of every one of the borough's 300,000 inhabitants. But that's for the future. I don't think we should make any commitment as to what we want to do. But the recommendation on policy and resources was to consider that the actual site, the crop and civic offices, are surplus to requirements and that uh, the uh, proposed sale of it should go ahead. I think <coughs> this has been... Uh, Very few people realise the extent to which the council, by law, affects people's lives. From the registration of births, to the solemnisation of marriages. Even the registration and interment of the dead. All of this is the council's responsibility and much more besides. Everyone knows the council empties their dustbin. In Bromley, the council empties six million dustbins a year, sweeps and maintains 500 miles of road and 800 miles of sewers. It replaces 500 lampposts and maintains 6,000 parking spaces builds pavement crossovers for access to private garages and replaces thousands of broken paving stones and miles of curbs each year. The council owns and maintains 17,000 council dwellings which are serviced on a regular basis. It encourages housing associations to build sheltered accommodation for the elderly and has also built some of his own sheltered accommodation, such as the development at Kimmeridge Road, Bottingham. These are for the more active elderly who still have the security of an alarm. The Technical Services Directorate deals with 6,500 planning and building applications yearly, all requiring investigation and consultation. Approximately 500 alleged planning contraventions are dealt with. Each week it also processes around 2,000 requests for maintenance to council-owned properties. The architects design buildings such as this new school in Biggin Hill. The same department also deals with conservation and environmental improvements to urban sites. The council looks after 2,000 acres of public open space with the help of local voluntary groups such as Environment Bromley an organisation which, amongst other things, helps to create and maintain over a hundred miles of public footpaths. The council continually looks for ways of preserving open space within the borough. Scadbury, once the pride of the Walsinghams, became derelict and was put up for sale. The council acquired the estate for the benefit of the residents of the borough. It is now a nature reserve where the public can see wildlife in its natural habitat.
But the quality of people's lives does not solely depend upon how green and clean the environment is. It is important that the community as a whole has its needs served in the best possible way. Of all the money raised by the rates, the largest part is spent on Brumley's education system. It is justifiably proud of its record as an education authority. The records and examination successes speak for themselves. Bromley has been in the forefront of computer education for the last 10 years and has also produced an enviable string of successes in the field of young people's music. The council runs over 100 primary and secondary schools and employs over 3,800 teachers and ancillary workers in educating over 33,000 children. It produces two and a half million meals each year in schools, runs three colleges and grant aids over 3,000 students on degree and other courses. It runs special schools for over 500 pupils and buys over 100 places at other schools for children who require special help. The council provides active adult education centres which attract over 17,000 pupils each year. It also runs eight youth clubs and operates a career service to give advice and help to school and college leavers. The next largest slice of the council's annual budget goes to the social services department to care for those in need in the borough. The range of the care needed is very wide indeed. The department deals with 15,000 cases a year covering such subjects as children or adults at risk, adoption, fostering, short-term relief care, underprivileged families, occupational therapy needs of the blind or deaf or physically handicapped. The department runs 15 borough homes for the elderly and for children. Bertha James Centre in Bromley is one such example of a council home for the elderly. It has 61 permanent residents and can cater for up to 150 day guests. In recent years, the department has given financial aid to local organisations to help them provide greater care for people in their own homes. The services provided through the council or the voluntary bodies range from home health or Meals on Wheels to transport services to and from day centres. Over 3,000 people in the borough receive the services of a home help and roughly 170,000 Meals on Wheels are delivered each year. Even the ordinary person in the street, the consumer, relies on the council for protection in their day-to-day -day transactions. The council's trading standard staff deal with consumer protection. Standards of safety, quantity, quality and price are maintained by constant inspections. These inspections cover a wide range of consumer transactions, from testing optics in pubs to ensure good measure, to testing petrol in the pumps. Taking the temperature of uh, some of the meats in the fridge, and I'm quite happy with that, that's okay, but I think you probably realise that putting raw meat above cooked meat is something we don't want to see because of the risk of blood or fluid dripping from that meat onto the cooked meat, we'll get some bugs on it, give it a serve to the customer, and uh, we might have a food poisoning problem. So either we're going to put it on the bottom shelf of the fridge so it can't drip onto anything else, or... The Environmental Health Department takes over where the Trading Standards Department leaves off. 
This department deals with all health and environmental problems, such as food control and hygiene in commercial establishments. It also deals with pest control, vermin and other infestations, health and safety at work, infectious diseases, atmospheric pollution, and many other public health matters. Due to new laws passed by central government, this department's work has increased in recent years.